Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, we're gonna talk about query reduction for direct query. Stay tuned. Okay, imagine this, imagine this. You got this huge database and you're trying to minimize how many queries go to this database or, or the database, not only is it big, but it's slow and there's nothing you can do to make it faster, right? You can send, you've tuned it out and there's nothing you can do to make the query response time fa response times faster. So you're looking for a way to reduce the chattiness between Power BI and that database, um, or you're looking for a way to control when queries go to the database in Power BI. You just want to minimize the number of queries that go to the database because you're using direct query because people want real time queries, real-time reporting um, from that database. And so what do you do? Well, back in November, I think it was November, if, I, if, I, if it's wrong, Adam will correct it on the screen. Um, November of last year, they re Microsoft, the product team, released a feature called Query Reduction. And that's what I'm gonna talk about today, especially, specifically for direct query, okay? So uh, instead of all this talking, you guys know how I like to do what? Let's head over to my laptop. All right, so imagine, right? Use your imagination. Imagine this is connected to a very large a very large, slow database, okay? And every time, and I'm gonna use uh, DAX Studio and I'll bring it onto the screen just a little bit to show you what happens. So let's imagine filters and slicers. So, right, I've set up multi-select, so you can select multiple items here. So watch what happens. I choose 2012, I'm gonna show you the queries in a little bit. So I choose 2012, right? And then I choose 2011, right? And so what happens is, let's bring DAX Studio down over here, just so you can see the queries that's coming through, um, that's being sent over to, you know, that's being run on the, the, the model that's sent down to the, the underlying data source. So you can see the first queries that it sends down, it's just looking at, if double click here, it's just 2012, right? But when I select another option in that multi-select list, it sends the query back down as 2012 and 2011. Two round trips for the same set of data, right? We want to reduce that. We don't want that to happen. In fact, let me clear this out. In fact, take a look at this. If I use my filter here, so I have a page level filter on quarter. If I choose one, right? And then I choose two, right? And then you'll see if we go back over to DAX Studio, right? It's running so many queries um, behind the scenes here. So it's got one, and then it's got one, two for that given year. I wanna minimize, you see what I'm saying? So if I double click this one, right? It's, you know, this for this, just for these two years with this particular quarter. And then if I get rid of that and open this one up, you could see, right, it's for this year, these two years and these quarters, right? Same query, just ran more times than I wanted to run. I wanna minimize what happens there. I don't want this to happen over and over and over again. I wanna control when these queries are sent. So that's when I can use query reduction. So let's go ahead and clear this out, minimize this. And then we're gonna to go to File, Options, and then we're gonna go right down here. You're gonna see an option here called Query Reduction. See, Query Reduction, click it. And the first part of Query Reduction I'm gonna talk about is Show and Apply button right, show an apply button and only send queries once for slicers and filters. So instead of saying, if I have a multi-select, if I say 2012, send the query, then I say 2012, send 2011, send the query. Instead of doing that, only send 2011, 2012. So I'm gonna check this box. I'm gonna check filter, both of these, right? I'm gonna click okay. And then what I'm gonna do is uncheck these two and I'm gonna say send this one, this one, right? If we go over to DAX Studio, Nothing's happening, right? But when I click apply, I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. All right, we'll wait for the filter to happen. And then we'll look over at DAX Studio and then only one query came through, right? Multiple queries, one for each element, but only one query for each element in instead of two queries for each element. So I've, I've reduced the round trips back to my underlying source Right, I've cut it in half. This is great, and it also works for filters. Man, if you guys are using direct query and you wanna control things, you know, how when queries are going to your underlying data source, you should take a look at query reduction, but wait, but wait, I'm not finished. There's one more thing that I wanna show you guys, all right? So check this out, all right? So we're gonna clear everything out here in DAX Studio, and we're gonna go back here, let's clear everything out here, and you guys know there's this cross-filtering that happens, so if I click, here, 
if I click here, if I click here, right? Everything is being updated every time I click something, right? Every time I click, these elements are being updated every time I click something, every time. And if I go back over to DAX Studio, you just see all these queries coming through, coming through, and it's just kind of, you know, it's clogging up my underlying data source because we're constantly sending all these queries back to the underlying system. And I want to control this, right? And so instead of, let me clear this, instead of all these interactions happening, maybe I only need interactions to happen between the table and the map and the bar chart. I don't need it to happen between the card, or maybe I only want it to happen between the table and the card. Now I know what you're thinking, Patrick, I can go, I can click on the element, I can go to format, and I can choose edit interactions, I can turn it off for each one. Yeah, of course you can. But what if you want it off by default for all of the elements, and then you just want to turn it on as you need it? Well, same option, right? File, go to file, go to options, options and settings, go to options, all right, and we'll go to query reduction, Check. Uh, let's uncheck these, and check the box for disable cross highlighting. You can keep them all checked if you want, it's completely up to you, um, and click OK. So if I go to edit interactions, you'll see that all of them are turned off, and now I have to selectively turn the ones I want on. So instead of all those queries coming through, every time I interact with some element, some visual on the report, only the ones that I turn on. So I turn them, this checkbox, turn them all off by default, and then I have to explicitly go turn them on. So I'm gonna go say, so what I need is for this particular element, I want this one to be on and this one to be on. So now if I just pick one, so let's make sure our DAX studio is clear, let's clear it out. So instead of seeing three queries come through, right, I'm only gonna see the two queries if it hadn't cached something up. You guys know Power BI will do some, some caching on its side, but perfect. I only see the two queries coming through just for the particular one, the particular you know row in that table that I've selected, it's filtering out just the bar chart and the map. And it just works like that, it's great. If you haven't tried this out, if you're using direct query and you're struggling with so much chattiness going between Power BI and your underlying data source, or if you wanna control when queries are going back to that underlying data source, you should take a look at query reduction, okay? So if you guys have any questions, comments about this, if you're doing this the other way, let me know. Post it in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel, you know what you gotta do. Hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. One take, one take.